Hey, hey, Girl Scouts. This is Brooke coming to you live um, for our Science of Happiness badge. So um, as we have folks start to jump on, um, if you can write your name, where you're from, and one thing that makes you happy in the comments, um, we're just going to wait a couple of minutes before we get started um, so that it gives people a chance to um, jump on. So if you're just joining me, if you can um, put in the comments your name, where you're from, and one thing that makes you happy. We're just going to wait till a couple more people join on. waiting for a few comments to roll in. I'll start. So my name is Brooke. I'm coming to you here from Cincinnati. And one thing that makes me happy is my dogs. The second thing that makes me happy, a little bonus happiness, uh, is my plants. I have lots of house plants. All right, there we go. So Emily from Kentucky, drawing makes you happy. Dorothy from Indiana. Hi from San Diego. Hello. So nice of you to join us. Your friends and family make you happy. My friends and family make me happy too. Hannah from Pennsylvania. Isabella. Lisa Smith is here from Toledo. Hello. Um, so as you're hopping on, go ahead and write in the comments your name, where you're tuning in from, and one thing that makes you happy. Dakota from Springfield, her dog Princess. That's such a cute name. My dog's name is Bonnie. My other dog's name is Ziggy. Oh my gosh, so many friends tuning in. All right, we will go ahead and get started. So I'm really excited to be sharing this badge with you all. This is actually, I don't know if you're supposed to pick a favorite badge, but this is my favorite badge out of all of the Girl Scout badges. So um, this is our Cadet Science of Happiness badge. And um, Cadet badges are for girls in sixth through eighth grade, but I think that this is a really great um, workshop for people to do no matter what age you are. So if you're tuning in with your caregiver or an adult at home, um, it might be cool to um, do some of the steps of this with your adult and then you can talk about it. Um, and I just think it's the perfect time for it. So. Like I said, um, we are going to be working on the Science of Happiness badge today. My name is Brooke Breckenridge. I'm a program manager here for Girl Scouts of Western Ohio out of our southern region um, here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, and the reason that this is one of my favorite badges is because it's all about happiness and making yourself and others happier, but it's a science badge. So um, I know I personally always struggled with science. It wasn't always my strong suit. So if you're like me and um, you sometimes struggle with science, this is a really cool way that you can explore science in a topic that's kind of easy to do. And if you're not like me and you love science, this is a way to look at science in a brand new way. So I hope that you guys really enjoy this badge as much as I do and you have a lot of fun with it. So um, I did write down a couple of tips about this badge. So like I said, it's really unique. This is actually a science badge, even though it's all about happiness. So in this badge, you're both the researcher you're the, and the research subject. So you're performing the experiment on yourself, which is very interesting. So my tip here is to keep a journal. And if you saw our event page, I did recommend that you have a journal. I have this nice one with a little inspirational quote. Um, so that's a journal that I write in regularly. And I'm going to do some of the steps of the Science of Happiness badge um, in my journal. And the goal is that you record some of the steps in your journal and then you see what works best for you. So in each of the steps, you are going to experiment with an activity that science says will make you happier. If you find that the method that I outline is not working for you, that's okay. That's part of the scientific process. So there are other choices. So if you find that the method that I explained today 
isn't your favorite, I'm actually gonna go back and update our um, event page and put the other steps of the badge. So you can pick one of the other ones and see if you like that a little bit better. It's all part of the scientific process. So we're just gonna start with a little um, vocabulary. The three keys to happiness are pleasure, which means doing what you enjoy, Engagement, engagement, which means feeling interested in your activities, and meaning, which means feeling like you're, what you're doing matters. So those three words are going to kind of pop up in some of the different um, steps of the badge. So just like all of our other cadet badges, this badge has five steps to complete it. But one thing that's a little bit different than some of our other badge workshops that you might have been or you may have tuned in for um, is that we are going to do the foundation of the badge today. But since this is a science experiment, you should perform some of the all of the tasks that I outline for in your journal, record your steps, and then you'll earn the badge. So this is a little bit different than some of the other badges that we've worked on for that reason. So the first step is to make yourself happier. And um, the, the part of this step, the choice that um, I decided to highlight today is gratitude or counting your blessings. So each day for two weeks in your journal, you should write or draw pictures of three things that you're grateful for. Now, this part of this step is working on pleasure and engagement. So we're practicing more engagement and meaning in our daily life through finding the things that we're grateful for. So one thing that I would love to do right now is I'm gonna share the three things that I'm grateful for that I came up with before this workshop, but I would love for you all to write in the comments three things that you're grateful for. And then the first three that I see, I'm gonna share out. You can continue to post them, but I'm only going to read three aloud. So the three things that I'm grateful for right now are I'm grateful that I get the opportunity to connect with all of you around the world um, doing these badge workshops. I am really grateful that I get to share my passions with you all and um, I get to connect with you all in a new way. So that's the first thing that I'm thankful for. The second thing that I'm thankful for are my two dogs and my cat. Um, Bonnie, Ziggy, and Oakley, I love them all so much, and they all make me smile. And Bonnie, well, she was under my chair, but I guess she moved. And then the third thing that I'm grateful for is my family. Even though we're all far away from each other, I live in Cincinnati and my family lives in Michigan, I'm still able to call and text and um, connect with them on social media so I'm able to um, stay close with them even though we're far away. So I guess a part of that is I'm thankful for technology keeping us connected when we can't really leave our homes right now. So like I said, um, I'm going to read three of the things that you all said that you're grateful for, but you all should practice this step for two weeks. So every day you should find three things that you're grateful for or thankful for. So Oh man, it looks like people put these in individual comments. So, oh, this person put all three in one. So Liz is thankful for food, family, and friends. Dawn is grateful for my family, friends, and shelter. And um, Fawn is grateful for my iPhone, food, and friends. So like I said, you guys can continue to share some of the things that you're grateful for. It looks like the comments are rolling in and you might see some people that are grateful for the same things as you. Um, so like I said, we're gonna do this every day for two weeks in our journal. So write in your journal three things that you're thankful for. And then a little bonus to get that third keyword for happiness, pleasure, is during your two weeks, also write in your journal um, how you feel after doing something that you find pleasurable. So that could be watching your favorite movie. It could be crafting. It could be practicing soccer. Um, anything that you makes you feel um, happy and joy, um, write about it in your journal after you do it. So you can kind of start to keep track and record the things that make um, or the things that bring you pleasure. So that is step one of our badge. Again, we're doing that for two weeks. I keep repeating this, but it's a lot different than our other badge workshops we've done. So for step two, we're going to think differently about happiness. So scientists say that people who 
stay positive and are optimistic are happier. So um, for two weeks, again, two weeks this time, we are going to um, find a way to cope anytime things that upset us. So obviously things are changing around us all the time. I know in Ohio this week, the governor just extended um, stay at home for um, or shelter in place orders and um, school is still on recess or, you know, kids are not allowed to go to school until um, the end of April. So as throughout the, you know, three weeks of April, um, over the next two weeks, as you find things that make you sad or upset you, um, I'm going to give you a tool to cope with that. So the one that I picked is choose your strengths. So you might find that you're good at listening or you're really funny or things like that. So in your journal, again, I want you all to make a thing, a list of the things that you're good at, a list of your strengths. And um, if you saw on the event page, I did give some pre-work. Um, if anyone was able to see that, I did list um, a list of some of the different strengths just for suggestions and asked um, some people to work ahead on this one and highlight some of their strengths. So if you didn't see that already, you can go into our events page and I did post just a suggestion of some strengths. But if you're having trouble brainstorming some, you can also ask your friends or family and um, see what they see your strengths are. So some strengths that I came up with for myself are that I'm a good listener, I'm really creative, um, I'm very loving, and I am passionate. So again, I would love to hear some of your strengths in the comments. And the first three that I see, I will shout out loud. Um, all right, playing games on my tablet. I think that's one of your strengths. I think that's what you answered. It might be something that made you happy or something that you were grateful for. But um, playing games on your tablet, some people are really good at that. I'll name some of my other strengths while waiting to see your strengths. Um, so I'm also very loyal. I, um, love my friends dearly. Um, okay. I have some in here now. So, um, Amira's strength is that she's creative. Um, it looks like Leslie's is that she's strong. And, um, Kelly said helpful, intelligent, and neat. I love of three. So you guys can continue sharing your strengths in the comments because it might give people some ideas of what their strengths might be. They might see some of yours and say, hey, I'm really good at that too. So the reason that we're doing this is when you face something tough over the next two or maybe three weeks, um, because it looks like we're going to be home for the next three weeks, um, focus on what you're good at and think of how you can use one of your strengths to overcome this. So um, if I was feeling really down about the fact that, um, you know, I can't see my co-workers. Um, one of my strengths is that I'm creative. So you can find creative ways to connect with people. Maybe you um, set up a FaceTime um, party to watch a movie together and then you can all connect that way. So the reason that we're listing our strengths is so that when we are feeling down, we can look at those strengths and see how we can overcome them. So again, this is a great way to use your journal and write them all down in your journal so that you have them. And if you're feeling really down, you can look at all of your strengths and say, you know what, I shouldn't feel down. I'm really awesome. Look at all my strengths. So that is our second step. Our first two steps focused on making us happy. Now the next step, we're going to find happiness through sharing our happiness with others. So um, again, we're getting a little creative with this one. The step that I chose to share with you all for this one is to make a gratitude visit. And you might say, well, Brooke, I can't leave my house. That's a great way where you can use technology with the help of your adult and maybe set up a phone call or a FaceTime or a video call or Skype um, with a friend, a mentor, a teacher, a coach, a family member, someone that's helped you in some way. 
Um, since we can't visit them face to face, we're going to visit them digitally and we're going to tell them why we're thanking them and how they've helped improve our lives. And after you've done this, ask yourself how you feel and write about it in your journal. And you should do this at least twice and write about it in your journal so you can record your findings. So I would love if you all could write in the comments. Um, someone that you plan on reaching out to to make a gratitude visit. Again, the first three that I see, I'm going to share out loud, but I think I'm going to make a gratitude visit virtually to um, both of my grandparents because I'm really grateful for the different things that they've done for me. My one grandma is really creative and artistic and um, my whole childhood we crafted together and made art and I think that's why I have such a love of and um, why I'm so creative. So that's why I'm calling my one grandma and then my other grandmother. Um, she is a very loving woman and she just loves to share her love with the family. And she always hosted big get togethers and um, she loves cooking for us and baking. And um, that is why I'm grateful for her because she is so loving and I think that she really instilled that in me. So um, Monica is going to reach out to her friend Gretchen. Um, it looks like Mara is going to reach out to her aunt who is always there for her. And then Stephanie is also reaching out to her grandma. So again, you guys can keep sharing out in the comments who you're going to reach out to um, because it might give someone an idea if they're struggling to come up with who they might be able to pay a gratitude visit to. So the next step of this is um, we are going to do a um, helpful happiness experiment. And for this step, we are going to be positive psychologists. So we are going to test other people's happiness. So for this one, we are going to pick one friend and um, you're going to connect with them. And again, this is someone different than the person in the last um, step. So. You're going to pick one friend or family member or relative. It could be someone in your own household or um, someone that you can call on the phone. And you're going to um, find someone that you think might, you know, be also having a hard time right now because we are all doing the social distancing and quarantine. And you're going to talk to them about how they can perform their own happiness experiment and do some of these steps to improve their happiness. So, um, you are going to share with them some different tips on being happy, some different things that you've learned. So maybe in part of this experiment, you do this step after the first week so you can see what works for you and then share with them. And then with them, my challenge for you is that you'll have them list the things that they're grateful for. And then you will also have them find their strengths. And then you can talk to them about which tip they liked better, which one helped them more. And then you guys can kind of both talk about how those impact you. So this one isn't super interactive, but maybe you can start to brainstorm what friend, maybe a girl in your troop, maybe someone from school, maybe your brother or sister that's also at home with you. Um, it can be anyone that you would like. And then the last step, step five of our happiness experiment is that we are going to create a happiness action plan. And that way, as you know, life continues to change and hopefully at some point gets back to normal, you can um, outline a plan for yourself on how to stay happy. So I'm gonna share out all three of the ways that you can do this because this should be done at the very end of your experiment. So the first step is that you can find a happiness helper. And that's just a friend or family member that you're going to connect with when um, you are going through your happiness project. And you'll list five ways that, five things that make your happiness helper happy. And then they will find five things that make you happy. So then you guys can connect and you can help pick each other up when you're feeling down. The second step is to draw a picture or make a collage of the top five things that you found that make you happy and then put that somewhere where you'll see it every day. So you can put it maybe on your bathroom mirror or next to your bed or um, by your shoes somewhere that you'll see it every day so that you can have a reminder of the things that make you happy. And then the third option for this one is to create a bliss box. So you'll go back through your journal 
because you've been recording the things that make you happy and how you feel and your gratitudes over the last two weeks. So you'll go back in your journal and you'll highlight some of the things that make you the happiest or the happiest moments. And you'll write those on little pieces of paper and maybe you draw picture or, uh, pictures or you take actual pictures. Um, I was thinking if you have one of those Polaroid cameras, this might be a really cool way to kind of take pictures um, with your Polaroid camera of the things that made you happy. So you have a little reminder and um, you can put all those things in your box so that if you're ever feeling down, you can look at the happy memories and the things that make you happy and it can be a little pick me up. And you can continue to use this box after your science experiment is over, although you should still practice all the tips. And you can potentially, um, you know, put little mementos from different trips or vacations that you've taken or things like that that have made you happy. So those are the five different um, steps in our happiness experiment. So I am going to be working on my own happiness experiment over the next two weeks. I hope you all will join me in the happiness experiment. And um, I would love to hear your results. I'm just going to see if there are any questions. Kelly said, what was the second part of the two week part? Um, so for steps one and two, where we are finding three things that we're grateful for every day, and then we're listing our strengths. We are kind of practicing those every day for two weeks, and then um, recording in our journal the things that we're grateful for, and then, um, you know, writing down our strengths and then revisiting those as we feel sad over the next two weeks. For the get happy through others, where we're making our gratitude visits, you just have to do two of those over the two weeks. So maybe you do one your first week and one your second week. Um, for step four, that is where you do a happiness experiment on someone else. So my suggestion was to do this one in the second week because then you would have practiced your own happiness techniques for the first week and you can share them with your friend. And then at the very end, you'll create step five. So I hope they answered your question, Kelly. I love the plants in the background. Thank you so much, Fawn. I love plants. They're my, my passion. Um, so I have some of them. Back here in my dining room, remind me. Um, can you say all the parts again? So um, in case you missed it at the beginning, a really important part of the science experiment and any science experiment is that not all the steps might work for you that I outlined. So I'm actually going to share out the um, different options for the badge in the event page for um, this Facebook Live. So if you go to our events, it's called Cadet Science of Happiness Badge Workshop. And I'm going to share out all the steps. And um, you can go back and revisit, but you make yourself happier. You think differently for happiness. You get happy through others. You do a helpful happiness experiment, and then you create a happiness action plan. So those are the five steps. And again, um, a really important part of the scientific process is trial and error, finding out what works best for you, um, and if maybe the gratitude um, challenge at the end of every day isn't working best for you, go back to step one and see the other options and see if other ones works better. Um, again, those will be in the event page. Um, someone asked what plants do I have? I have a lot of plants, but in the background of this, I have a couple of snake plants, a maranta, and then a little lemon lime pothos. And then that's also a philodendron, uh, Macaulay's finale. So, oh, and this is also a right here. That's a pearls and jade pothos. So those are some of the plants that I have. Um, someone said one is a cactus. Do I have cactuses in here? I don't know. I'm getting off topic. I'm sorry. Um, what are the five things. They're also up in my event description. What was the happiness helper again? I'm going to share all of these out, but the happiness helper is part of step four, I believe. No, step five. Um, so you can either for step five, create a bliss box that you can revisit and put all your happy memories in it. You can 
create an inspirational collage with five things that make you happy and put it somewhere that you'll see it every day. Or you can find a happiness helper and you're going to share with that person the things that make you happy and they'll tell you the things that make them happy. And then when you're feeling down or when they're feeling down, you'll connect with that person and um, kind of talk to them and they can remind you of some of the things that make you happy. Um, someone said, I like your plants, maybe cactus and succulents. If you haven't watched it already, I did a whole hour long junior gardener badge workshop where I talked about a bunch of my plants. So that can be found in our video section in the junior um, playlist. A bunch of people said, thank you for doing this. Plants are amazing. Plants are amazing. They're making me very happy and making me feel like I have some nature inside. So with that, I'm going to wrap up. You can find all of the different steps in the event page for this. Like I said, I'm going to share everything out, but um, I just wanted to leave you all with a quote. It is in the little badge page, but I thought it was fitting. So this quote is from Audrey Hepburn. It says, I believe in pink. I believe in being strong when everything seems to be going wrong. I believe that happy girls are the prettiest. I believe that tomorrow is another day and I believe in miracles. So that was the little quote that was at the end of the badge um, booklet, but I thought that it was really fitting with everything that's going on right now. So um, with that, I will be signing off. I'll go back through and see if there are any questions that I left unanswered, um, and you can revisit in the um, event page all four of the steps of the, or all five of the steps of the bench. Bye, Girl Scouts.